Hey sugar, so I have built a little bungalow. It's supposed to be inspired by a Milwaukee bungalow because that's where I'm from. And I love that style of home. It kind of a little bit reminds me of my grandmother's home, but just different. It's inspired by it. So it doesn't look exactly the same, but you know, um, I had a lot of fun building this house because sometimes I try to build like other builders and I can build to a certain extent but my favorite style of home to build is a small family home like the bigger the house the harder it is for me to build it I probably can build the shell but like the interior you know putting all the rooms together especially decorating oh my gosh I like to decorate but when it comes to big spaces I don't know what to do I don't know what to do and like I'm very much a like traditional I don't know if I should say traditional but like very family oriented so if I have a single sim in a big home I don't know what to do it's very basic so I'm working on the roof now with this place right now you look at it right it's not gonna look like this the front stays pretty much the same but the roofing I keep switching it around because that's another thing I'm not the best at but um, then obviously I'm adding a second floor because I wanted a second floor in the first place. I don't know why I put the roof down first. I don't know what I was doing. Let's be real. I had I haven't been building in a while. And I'll just say now my radiator is about to start going off. So hopefully it's not too irritating in the background. <clears throat> but I haven't been building in a while. And the last time I built something, I think I tried to do a little bit more modern. Not completely my style. Which I can do a modern space. But it's kind of boring for me. It's like so minimal and I get a little tired of it. So again, like I said, I was having a little bit of a hard time with the roofing, but I'm starting to get what I want. So I believe this is the start of like what I stick with and then I just make it a little more perfect. <laughs> um, the, the roofing is like something I'm still new at. I've been building for a while now. I've been building since I got this game. Sometimes I'm just like addicted to building and that's all I'll do. And then other times I just want to play. And then other times I just want to be in cast. Right now I hate being in cast. So I was like, maybe I need to build. And I was like, I kind of want a save file that's personal to me. So I'm like, might as well take all the mods besides certain um, CC creators. Like I have a deep end deep end ago no i have a winged llama peacemaker charlie pancakes harry felix sander you know their harlux or what is it harlix i have their combined um sets i have who else six am max 20 are they the same person uh, i don't know but i have those people those two or that person i don't know sorry but I have like the build by creators that I absolutely love and I probably didn't name all of them but I had to keep them in I try my best with this place to only use CC, not CC content that's part of the game so as you can see with this exterior of course this is all oh excuse me this is all from the sims franchise so i have different packs it's not just a base game i cannot do i know a lot of creators can do it i'm not there i might need some more practice because i don't use the tool my i don't want to um so like turning things around making it look a certain way is just not something i'm going to do i'm not good at it obviously but I'm, i don't want to do it either so i like how this house is looking obviously it looks very traditional i'm sure you've seen a house like this um with the colors i kept changing them but i believe this is where i was like okay i like it because one of my favorite colors is gray especially when it comes to homes and exterior and interior everything clothing i love gray it's just like a fun color it, it goes with everything but it looks so clean too you know but i well, i keep blowing on the mic i'm sorry then i started doing terrain paint i didn't want this to just be a house on a lot because i noticed when i do when i used to build i would just put the house down and i would still feel like it's not complete so something i started getting better at well obviously i will watch builders like one of my favorite 
YouTubers that builds is I was about to say Peacemaker Girl. What are you talking about? Is Devin Bumpkin. I love watching his videos. I like he's fun to watch himself. Like he how he talks is fun to listen to. But how he builds is pretty fun and cool and he's very creative. But it's not like super crazy. So another another builder that is like wild and does a lot of big stuff is Kate Emerald. She comes up with some stuff. I, I'm never gonna do it, but it looks good. It looks good. Okay. But Devin Pumpkin is um he's more of like I wanna say traditional. He's kinda like modern industrial he does he can do a lot and then now he's been trying to put more builds that are similar to things he'll see in his area out in britain am i lying? i know he's from somewhere out there in england great britain you know that area um so i like that i like that so um what was i about to say about the builders oh when i started watching them more i noticed they would do a little more landscaping i'm not good at it you see this right here mm-mm I'm not feeling it. I get rid of it. <laughs> and then I just put flowers. Like, I, again, this was inspired by my grandmother's house. She has her flowers that she always puts in the front little garden area. <clears throat> Every spring, she puts out flowers. So I just was like, okay, let me do what she does. Now, her flowers aren't so close together like these, but it's different colors. And I just, I, I do enjoy that little pop of color that she puts in front of her house my grandmother's house is pink it's like a pale pink it's, it's an old house oh the garbage truck is here well it's good that i took my garbage out you know being responsible but yeah she has a pink house and it's already a pop of color but um i love the flowers so i was like okay let me just do that because i can't think of what to do but i am not very good with landscaping sometimes i see people's like flower orientation is that how i should say like how they put the flowers down in front of their lots or in front of their build and it's pretty freaking cool okay i get a little jealous i'm like i wish i could do that more effortlessly um and then i move on to like the backyard area the side area so like i said i didn't want it to just look like a house plopped onto some land so i try to do sidewalks obviously i put a little like patio space and I continue to add more plants and things like that so this little pathway again is inspired by my grandmother because she has a path from her backyard to the front but it's not like this it's a curved little thing you know my granddad is a carpenter and he does landscaping that's his favorite thing to do well, he's getting older, so I guess he doesn't do it as much anymore, but yeah. And I didn't like the grass that comes with um, Willow Creek. It's like, it's it's realistic. It's not perfect, but I wanted this grass to be perfect. So I put some um, terrain paint down with the grass. That I think it comes from Outdoor Retreat. Girl, don't give me the lie. But I just like how it looks. So I had to put this around because that grass didn't blend in with the grass that comes with the base game it doesn't come with the willow creek so i was like okay let me put something around so i like when i add this stuff i'm again i'm still a beginner when it comes to landscaping but i like that i add that i started doing this because it looks like it kind of blends in a little bit more and makes it feel like it's not just a plop down piece of house <laughs> it's not a bill just plop down because that's, that's irritating and as you can see it looks really good. I had to put a side door because I didn't, it doesn't make sense for them to walk all the way from the front to the back every single time, you know? I didn't put a gate because of the sizing, you know, the gates that match this um, fence, it's too big and I didn't want to do that. So I just left a little open space. And then I put the stairs, matching stairs in the back, you know? I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I, I don't like watching builds when no one is talking. I, I I might do it just for some inspiration, but I can't do it. I can't. So I was like, let me just suck it up and talk. Because I can talk. 
But staying on topic is my issue, and I'm trying my hardest not to veer too much to the left, and then I'm going to turn around and the build is done. But this is just going to be the interior. I'm sure I put that in the title. But now I'm working on the... I said the interior. This is just the build and the land, the layout of the house. I didn't do the decorating yet. I still haven't finished it in real life. Um, in real life and current time. So when it comes to the interior, I was struggling with the flooring. I knew I just wanted to do white walls. That's what I do in like 90% of my builds. I wanted to do white walls, but the flooring, I was like, do I want to do carpet? Do I want to do... Um, what am I saying? Do I want to do linoleum inspired wood? Do I, I do I want to just do wood? I don't know. Because like I was saying, I was inspired by my grandmother's house and she has carpet everywhere. She used to have hardwood floors and then, I don't know, back in the day, I guess it wasn't cool to have hardwood floors. So then they got carpet. So I tried to, you know, do the whole hardwood, but I wanted it to look a little older. But I'm like, I'm making an update, updated house. So I don't have to use old wood. So here I'm just making some, I guess, archways. I didn't, I wanted to use the, are we frozen? Okay, here we go. I wanted to use a, an archway that's, you know, already made, but I had to burp there, excuse me, but it just wasn't big enough or tall enough. So I decided to just make these, which it's, they're not hard to make, obviously, but I just be like, mm, I don't feel like it. That's when it comes to building certain things, I just don't want to do, and that's why I don't build. And then I, I look at this. I started using this color, and then I'm like, okay, this is cute. Then I'm like, why am I using this freaking color? It matches nothing. Nothing. So I went back to white. And here I put down this table. But I forgot that I just put it down just to size out the space. I, I was about to decorate. So yeah, the, the window went away. But anyway, then I'm like, okay, I'm going to look at me putting carpet down. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do for the floors. And I finally settled like this right here is my favorite flooring. I've used I started using it recently. And I'm just I'm, a I'm in love. I'm in love with it. Um, yeah, that's the first floor lands landscape. Girl, what? The first floor layout. And then this is the second floor. It's three bedrooms, one bathroom up here. It's small. The whole place is small. It's a 20 by 15 lot. Again, I didn't know what kind of flooring. When I just, I'm looking now, that light brown tan color, I might go back and put that in there. I don't know. I don't know why I like it now, but I kind of do. I do again I have the basic um, stuff from Harry but I decided not to use any CC for like the layout in the exterior because I wanted to just upload it on the gallery for other people to use and it's probably easier for them to download the custom content huh compared to having to buy a whole pack shoot I didn't even think about that <laughs> but you know you can just customize it but I, I think the siding that comes with this house is base game and those plants I believe are base game so a lot of this stuff is base game you might have to just edit a couple things like these windows like all the windows are from is it get famous is one of them expansions yeah no yeah so I had to do the lighting I like to make sure it's enough lighting outside because I like to do things with my sims at night outdoors so you know that's important to me and then I had to just finish up with the windows and it feels like this part because I washed it a little bit already it feels like this part is so slow but when it comes to me putting down windows I'm very particular I want it to look aesthetically pleasing I wanted to line up but not be too symmetrical and perfect like the sides kind of have to be perfect but the upstairs and downstairs is a certain <laughs> I don't even know. I don't want to fake explain it, but we're almost done and I'm going to shut up. And I really appreciate you for watching my video. We'll chat again in the next one and I'll see you.